Asakusa, one of the four experiments at CERN's anti-proton decelerator, has just made important progress in the study of antimatter. The experiment has measured the mass of the antiproton with great precision. We've measured to a precision of nine digits. And we found that the antimatter, well, the antiproton mass is exactly the same as the proton mass, so therefore a nine digits of precision. Each kind of particle has an antimatter counterpart. At the beginning of the universe, there were equal amounts of matter and antimatter. But just after the Big Bang, antimatter had all but disappeared, leaving us in a world of matter. It can now only be produced in physics reactions. By studying the characteristics of antiparticles very precisely, physicists hope to better understand antimatter. That's why Asakusa is measuring the mass of the antiproton. Here we uh, measure the uh, mass of the antiproton relative to the mass of the electron. This is called the antiproton to electron mass ratio. Asakusa's approach to the study of antimatter is very innovative and based on two main ingredients, a helium target and the so-called antiprotonic atom. The antiproton particles come down that beam line there and then it enters into this helium target. And there we produce the antimatter, um, antiprotonic helium atoms, they are called, these half matter, half antimatter particles. The Asakusa experiment at CERN studies a special kind of half matter, half antimatter atom called antiprotonic helium. These antiprotonic atoms are very special. They're made of an antiproton, which orbits the nucleus instead of an electron, a special combination that can survive microseconds in the helium target. This is plenty of time for Asakusa to measure the mass of the antiproton with special lasers developed by a group of Asakusa scientists in cooperation with the group in the Max Planck Institute in Munich, led by Nobel laureate Theodor Hench. We then shine laser beams on these atoms and measure their uh, transition frequencies very precisely. Physicists are trying to find a difference between matter and antimatter. This could help explain how the symmetry between the matter and antimatter might have been broken at the beginning of the universe. In fact, this symmetry uh, is such, so fundamental in our understanding of nature that if it's broken, then we really have to rethink all our theories of particle physics. In the next step, we believe we can measure the uh, mass of the antiproton more precisely than for the proton and this would allow us to probe deeper into what the, how the universe is and how these matter and antimatter particles behave.